Hey, what's up, Gunslingers? Welcome back to the Pistols O'Brien channel. This week I'm bringing you a another drawing process video, this time the Marvel Comics character Blade, um, as immortalized by Wesley Snipes in the series of films. Uh, there were three Blade films. This version is kind of my own take on the character. I mean, it was inspired by the film version, but it's also kind of going toward the, the original comic book version as well. Kind of a, a mashup of the two, almost. Now the, uh, as you see, I start with the, with, with, started with the initial sketch, and I drew it fairly small on the canvas, but once I get the pose and everything locked in, I'll go ahead and uh, enlarge the the figure so that it fills up the canvas a little more completely. Now this video, honestly this video is, is quite a bit late. Um, it's a lot later than I wanted it to be. This one, it really was given, it has been giving me some trouble. The, I, when I recorded it, I, I recorded it in a series of parts. Um, I think five different recording sessions. Um, to finalize the image and the fifth part of it just would not no matter what I did would not uh, import into my editing program I ended up having to use a different editing program and re-encoding it and it was it was a hassle but in the end I was able to get it to work uh, now complaining aside you notice here that I initially was thinking of doing um, a more maybe youthful uh, approach to Blade. I decided to go with a with the, with the actual trench coat rather than the, the hoodie underneath um, to go more towards the, the classic idea of the character. And I put in these straps as a kind of uh, a hint toward what what he uses to, to hold his uh, his blade uh, of his sword. Uh, in in the uh, in the films, he has a sort of uh, sheath on his back that he stores his blade in, and obviously in this angle you can't see it, but I wanted to kind of hint that it was still there. Now all the sketching process when I do in these videos, I, I do with pencil tool. Um, I, I kind of feel like it uh, kind of mimics the look and feel of an actual pencil. And then when I do the inking, I use an actual an inking brush using the brush tool that mimics, again, uh, an actual, like, uh, inking your pen or uh, dip pen kind of, kind of look. I also wanted to make him look a little less human than, than he was in, in previous iterations. Uh, kind of inspired by the, the Book of the Vampires from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, even though obviously there's no connection between two characters. I just liked the animalistic look of them, of the of the eyebrows and, and, and kind of angry look they had. That's kind of why I, I decided to go with a similar style for his uh, his face here. I also wanted to go with a more modern looking hairstyle. Um, I don't know if you can let me know in the comments whether or not I, I hit the mark on that or not. But. Now 
by the end of it, I wasn't a hundred percent happy with the, uh, the the design of the costume, but it's I, I feel like it still reads as Blade. Uh, the knee pads here I was basing on some military style knee pads. I actually looked up images, reference images of military style knee pads too. To base that up, look off of. And the boots themselves were based on uh, comic book blade boots, which kind of had these straps on them that were, I don't know, maybe the tactical straps, I'm not entirely sure. And since this, this is just the sketch phase, you, you notice that I was able to uh, transform the, the straps, uh, make them a little thicker. Uh, using the Lita for Transform tools rather than erasing and redrawing them since, again, on the sketch layer, everything's going to be redone on the, with the ink layer anyway. So if it looks a little skewed or a little stretched, that doesn't matter because it's not the final layer. Here you know, I'm using the pen tool to kind of fill in the, the angular, the the straight lines of the of the sword. And I use a little bit of the pen tool on the gun as well. Um, the gun I based on a Desert Eagle handgun. Desert Eagle is a very famous type of gun. Famously used in the Matrix by the, the agents. Um, it's also a it's it's a very high caliber uh, pistol. I've not actually shot one before, but I did go to a range once and considered shooting it. But the the price of the ammunition for it was a dollar a bullet, and I just I couldn't justify throwing my money away like that. Here I'm going to put the, the actual ink layer, as you can see, it mimics the, the look of using a, either a brush to ink or using a technical pen or a dip pen um, type of look. I think I've mentioned in a video before that I was using the, the, the Kyle's, ink, uh, Kyle's ink brush, the thick and thin version of it. It's what I prefer to use when I'm doing the line work. Whereas on the, on the sketch layer and using the pencil tool, there's a, there's a specific pencil brush that I like to use, which mimics the, the look of the pencil. Going to hint at Blade's tattoo here, as you can see, it's kind of coming around uh, the, the coming around his ear there. Um, classically, the character from the movie has a very intricate tattoo. Um, on the back of his neck, going down his back. Um, I wanted to hint that he said that he still has it here, but obviously you can't see it since since the angle it's at. And I wanted to make the hair look kind of like a kind of like a fade look. Again, going for a more modern hairstyle. Best that I designed for this character that's underneath the coat. I was originally thinking of doing a like a military style tactical vest, but I ended up not going with it and kind of going with something a little more. I wouldn't say medieval, but it's because it's not a medieval looking um, style, but almost like a scale male tile uh, type of look, except for the scales are, are very large. 
Um, I was trying to think of what a uh, what a vampire styled vest or armor vest might look like. Like maybe one of the one of the vampires that he has killed over the years, maybe he stole the, the vest from them for added protection. But I wanted to go with kind of a large large scale look, uh, maybe almost mimicking the dragon type look, which fits with vampires because the classic character Dracula is uh, is very dragon oriented. It mean, actually means son of the dragon. So I was kind of trying to hint at, at a vampiric look. I am using the pen tool a lot more than I used in previous videos. The pen tool is one that um, I don't tend to use a lot in line work unless it's something that is a straight line or something that's very uniform. Um, mainly because the, the pen tool doesn't really allow you to do varying thicknesses of lines. So if I use the pen tool, I'll usually have to go back in and add in some thicker lines as well. But in certain areas of this drawing, I felt that the pen tool would have been just fine, uh, regardless of whether or not it actually has uses uh, thicker lines or not. Um, and the belt um, and the, the, the wrist straps on the on the trench coat, and even on the boots, I believe later on I used the the pen tool as well. Again, because they didn't necessarily need to be extra thick, and in certain areas I went ahead and thickened the lines anyway. When adding extra shadow. Best area here and on, the, on those, uh, those straps as well. Again, all trying to mimic a kind of vampiric look to them, rather than my initial idea, which was the more military style. Which, I mean, the military style would have been fine, it's just I was also kind of. I, I know I didn't hit this mark, but I was also trying to kind of think of what a an MCU style, Marvel Cinematic Universe style blade would look like. Um, I know, again, I know I didn't hit that mark, but um, I was thinking that the, the tactical military look was done so well by the Punisher already, I didn't want to kind of make him look like the Punisher. <laughs> I did use different uh, different thicknesses for parts of the blade here to make it look uh, a little more three dimensional, I guess. I'm using the pencil here in order to clear out some areas uh, where I don't want the the line mark underneath it to show through. I'm using the pencil because it's so easy to get such a straight line with the pen tool, whereas if I was using the eraser, it'd be a lot harder.
And as mentioned before, on the boots, you know, at least the straps of the boots are used to put quite a bit. And in this boot, I, I was experimenting with using it to fill in larger areas. But on the, on the other boot, I don't believe I did that as much. But I could be wrong. But I definitely did it on the straps. Using the pen tool for the regular line work didn't end up saving me any time. That's why I went going back to the Z brush. Adding some buttonholes on the buttons on the, on the print coat. Now I'm adding in the flat colors. As you can see here, trying to go for a base tone of dark gray. Uh, so that when I add the shadows in later, it'll look like a black trench coat. And thicken those chest straps to make them a little, have a little more weight to them. Added red again to, as a signifier of vampire as well. And use a little bit of uh, silver and put the gunmetal gray color for the uh, for the for the vest. Realized that the feet were a little large and I didn't shape and size them. Darkened that gray color for the for the coat. I actually messed up on the knee pads. I colored in the wrong layer, and I had to end up going, go back, going back through and erasing it. And I had to be very meticulous with the eraser in order to do that because I realized it much later after after I had already done multiple other sections. At this point in the video, I haven't even noticed it yet, but when I go back to it. I'm going to change the background so that it wasn't quite such a uh, clashing color. It looks white, but it's actually kind of a very light gray for the background. Made its eyes kind of a golden color. Going back to the pencil layer here, the sketching. Shape of the mustache, go to the combat. Here I am adding the shading to it, all the flat colors are finished. Using a little bit of shading, I am able to, even though I'm using just one color of gray, I'm able to make the uh, base colors look darker. Look, I, it's the same process I've done on the previous videos, if you've watched, but using just the one gray and setting that layer to multiply, it allows the, the darker color to shine through. And look like there's much more depth in than there is in it than there actually is, even though it's well, like I said, it's with one gray color. But since it's set on multiply, depending on the base color, it'll look like a darker shade of that base color. Right now, it's a darker brown. When I'm over the red, it'll be a darker red, and so forth.
in future videos and drawing processes, I've, I've been thinking about not, um, oh, oh, as I mentioned, here I am, I, I just realized a second ago the mistake I made with the, with the knee pads and just correcting them. Uh, but anyway, what I was going to say, uh, thinking about Talking um, a little less in, in the videos and, and maybe and maybe focusing more on the actual uh, drawing itself. Um, let me know if, if you would rather just watch and, and listen to the music or, or if it actually helps to hear me kind of explain the process. Um, I do also want to do some tutorial videos, kind of uh, showing how to do certain things in Photoshop and um, other programs like Animate. Um, let me know if there's anything in particular that you'd like me to go over in a tutorial setting, but um, some, some basic things I, do, I definitely do want to go over, like uh, using some of the different tools, like using the, the, the shading that I, that I was explaining earlier. Um, And then animate, you know, showing how to do some basic animations, which I believe could be fairly helpful. Uh, speaking of animations, I'm I am working on an animation that hopefully will be posted not too long from now. I'm still working on a script for it. Uh, recently, in my Twitch chat or my Twitch uh, live stream, I uh, I was live streaming the drawing of a dragon that I was going to be using it. It's a, it's a fat dragon. <laughs> um, that, uh, like I said, should be uh, in, in an animation post fairly soon. Um, I do want to give a big thank you to the people who have subscribed to me so far. If you're, if you're a subscriber and you're watching this, thank you so much. Um, I'm at just over 20 subscribers now, and I can't thank you enough. I, I mean, even even one subscriber is is a, is a gift. I, I really really thank you for it. Um, if you if you haven't subscribed to me yet, you go ahead and uh, make sure you do. You hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I make a new video. Here's the final product. Thanks again, Gunslingers, for watching this video. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you want to be notified the next time I upload, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. It'll send you all notifications. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.